que bien se ve, me trae loco su figura Ese trajecito corto le queda bien, combinado con su mix y con los cafés que bien se ve Me trae loco su figura, ese tránsito puesto le queda bien, combinado con su lich y con los cafés que bien se ve. Dominican Republic saw me grow. You know, I started dancing in the Dominican Republic. When I first started singing, it was in the Dominican Republic. So it was like they saw me grow in my in my aspect of music and the whole the whole love of music grew through the Dominican music, you know, merengue, bachata. And it was all about that. My, my dad used to be in this little group. It was called La Banda Veneno. And it was like a merengue uh, type uh, banda. And, and it was like a band or whatever. And he used to be like the background vocals or whatever, but he did the choreographies and all that. And so it inspired me, like seeing my dad on stage, my mom danced, my mom was gonna dance for, for Janet Jackson and all them, her dad didn't let her. But they both pushed me to the to the level that they couldn't get, you know, and, and to complete the dreams that they didn't complete. And I guess that, that was it, like me and my brother, we were we started dancing together, we started singing together. Um, and the Dominican Republic helped us. They just pushed us to be who we are today. And, uh, and I'll always carry that with me. Growing up in the Dominican Republic, I used to listen to a lot Romeo Santos and Prince Royce and Juan Liguerra. Those are the three artists that I that I used to listen to a lot, and it, and it influenced me not just by their music, but by the the form that they are. You know, they they're such good human beings. That I feel like that's that's the goal between everything. You know, you can reach any success, you can reach any any goals in life, but to be who you are and to to stay grounded and to stay with your family and to stay. You know, happy with who you are, not not always complaining about, oh, they're trying to make me look like this, they're trying to make me look like this. But nah, they got to, to their dream. They completed the dream by being who they are. We've been working so hard since we've been always, you know, back to back and we we barely have time to even call our moms. It's, it's a thing that not everybody knows that we're like, we're, we're normal, you know, where everybody be like, oh, CNCO, they got money, they got this, they doing this, you know what I'm saying, they're, they're the biggest thing. But to be honest, we do the same thing that everybody does. We go to fast food, we, we stand in front of, you know, anything and just, just start fooling around, you know, and we're, we're kids, we're still, you know, we're still young and we're still living the life and it's, it's dope. And we're just chill, we're just chill guys and, and whatever anybody else thinks, we're, we're normal. My first memory of music, it was in a TV show. And I actually got my first kiss there. There used to be this um, TV show, it was Nuevo Nuevo Roberto. It wasn't my first TV show, but it was my first performance as a as me and my brother. You know, we were dancing or whatever, and then after the show, there's these two girls come. It was like Blondie and a like, black hair brunette girl too. And we were there and they're like, oh my God, can I have a kiss? And I was like, I, I looked at my uncle, I was like, and he's like, give her a kiss? I mean, do it up. If you want to give her a kiss, give her a kiss. So he's like, which one would you like to kiss? And I, I had like three choices, so I felt I felt special. I was like, okay, so let me see. I like you, I like you, and then I picked up Brunette Girl. And that was my first kiss. And um, and yeah, and it was it good after that. I was like, I love this life, I'm gonna keep doing it. Let's say I get kisses for free. I don't even have to ask for it. <laughs> 